Hi and welcome to this special online mini seminar of Making It as an Entrepreneur. This mini seminar is going to give you the opportunity to look at where you are in your life and in your business. So it's going to be ideal for you if you're thinking about starting out or in fact if you've been in business for some time. What we're going to be doing throughout this next 10 minutes or so is giving you the opportunity to look at your business. So at certain points I'm going to ask you to pause the video and to think about where you are. So it's going to be best if you've got a pen and paper handy in order to do the exercises. Okay, let's start off. The first thing to say is that there's really three key components of running a business. There's you. What is it you're wanting? Why you're even in business in the first place? Your friends and family, the things that are really important to you in your life. The second thing is your actual business. What is it you're going to be doing in your business? What's the nature of the business? What, are the, what kind of things do you need to have in place to run your, your business effectively? What kind of systems, what kind of tools, what kind of equipment do you need in order to run your business? Where you can be based in your business? And the third element is your customers. Who are your customers? What do your customers want? And what's going on in the marketplace generally? So if you were to imagine these as three balls, they're all things that you need to balance at the same time. If you take your eye off any of them, you're in trouble. If you forget about you, your health's going to suffer. If you forget about your business, you're not going to have a business. If you forget about your customers, you're not going to have a business. So we're going to be looking at those three aspects. The other thing to say as we begin this workshop here is to say that there's also three keys to success that you find in people of all backgrounds who are successful in business. They're people who've got a very clear vision, so we're going to be looking at where it is that you're going. They're people who believe in themselves and their product and they are people who take action. So we're going to be looking at what's the vision, do you believe in where you're going, and what action steps do you need to take? So one of the first things I'm going to get you to do now is to take a piece of paper, divide it into three columns. Top of the left-hand column write the word life, top of the middle column write the word business, and the top of the third column write the word relationships. And in just a minute I'm going to get you to write a list of six to ten individual words of what's most important to you in life, what's most important to you in a business and what's most important to you in relationships. The same words may appear just on one list or across the various lists. So take just a minute per list and then return to the video. Fantastic. So you've written your list of what's most important to you. What you need to do now is I'm going to invite you to just spend a little bit more time and it might be that you spend more time over this over in fact the coming days and weeks. Ask yourself exactly what do those words mean? So you've written words like health, security, money, travel, fun, making a difference, whatever the values that you've written down. But what you need to know is what those things mean to you. And once you've got a clear idea of what those things are, that means that you're going to create a business, create a life, and foster the kind of relationships that are in line with your values. So what some of you will find is that merely that exercise of focusing on what it is that you want is going to help you to become clear on what you're doing. Because when it comes to business, it's really important Important that you develop the relationships that resonate with you, that you have the kind of elements that you're wanting in your business that resonate with you. So it might well be that you're spending some time with that. What we're going to do now is to begin to develop a picture of where it is that you're wanting your business to be in three years time. This is saying that we often overestimate what we can achieve in a year and underestimate what we can achieve in three years. So what we're going to do is to begin to get a picture of where your business will be, where you'll be with your business in three years time. This is very, very important because right now you might feel as though there's a huge number of things that you need to do. By looking at three years time we can begin to create the space so that you can begin then to put in place the actions that can help you to build your business. So let's do that right away. Just again cast your eye down those list of words and I want you to begin to think about what would your business look like if these things were in place? Whereabouts would it be that you're based? What kind of products or services would it be that you're providing? Where is it where you'll be based? Who would be your customers? So what I'm going to invite you to do now is to begin to imagine that it's now three years time. Whereabouts is it that your business is based? What range of services or products is it that you're providing? Who precisely are the different types of customers who are coming to buy your product? What tools and resources and systems do you need to have in place to run your business effectively? What kind of turnover is your business making? And what kind of structure have you got to run your business? What's your role now in the business? And who else is helping you in your business? Perhaps there's paid staff, perhaps there's virtual support, perhaps you've got associates. And what kind of marketing and promotion tools are you using to promote your business now? So I'm going to get you to sit with these questions 
and let step by step the points that come through to come through and just capture them on a piece of paper. So I'm going to invite you to just pause the video here and then capture any of those specific notes about where you and where your business will be in three years time. Fantastic. So what you've done there is spent a little bit of time thinking about where you want to be in three years time. And that's really important because this vision is a key aspect of what makes an entrepreneur. You know, sometimes you've got to just believe in where it is that you're going, even though you may not have mapped out the steps. It's a bit like when you go on holiday. One of the first things you do is once you know where you're going, you start to visualize it and then you begin to map out the steps. And that's precisely what we're going to do here. I want you to think about, OK, what are the tools? What are the resources? And what's the support that you're going to need to put in place in order to get to where you're wanting your business to be? So for some of you, it's going to be about planning and research. What kind of planning and research is it that you need to do and when? For some of you, it's going to be about product or service development or even personal development. What kind of product, service or personal development are you going to need to do and when? And what else are the tools and the things that you have already? And what are the additional tools, resources and support that you're going to need to put in place in order to build your business? And they're likely to come under three headings because they're three key aspects of your business. One is marketing. What kind of marketing and promotion are you going to need to do and when? For you, it might be first of all starting off with things like doing business cards or it might be about developing your website. The next aspect, of course, is um, finance. Finance really is an end result of how good you are at marketing and how good you are at operations. So the third aspect is operations. And operations is the practical things. What is it you're doing? Where is it you're doing it? What kind of systems and tools and, and um, equipment is it you're actually going to need to run your business smoothly? So again, list what kind of things are you going to need to do? For some of you, it might be about finding out about premises. For some of you, it's going to be about developing your product. For some of you, it's going to be about things like finding out staff, how to employ staff, or perhaps getting other people who it is that you know to support you. So begin to think about who do you have in your network and who can you bring in place in order to support you to build your business. So what you can have by the end of this exercise is a whole list of actions which then you can break down into year one, year two, and year three as you move forward to achieve your goals. And I want you to leave you with one thing, and that thing is really that an entrepreneur is an athlete. You need to master your craft, you need to study your field, you need to gain and win supporters, and you need to run your own race. And you also need to learn from trials and errors. Very rare is the entrepreneur who will get things right every time. So the very last thing I want you to do is write an action plan. What is it that you're going to do next? Perhaps write three actions, what you're going to do and when you're going to do it. And also crucially think who can support you in that action. And one of the places, of course, that can support you in that action is the British Library's Business and IP Centre. So you're going to find details on the screen of how you can find out about this workshop and how you can book on. And I look forward to seeing you there.